How in the world is Olympus DAO offering 8,000% APY for staking the OM token? Is this a Ponzi scheme? Is this a pyramid? Or is this a real economic and game theory based tokenomics model? And what's with that 3 comma 3 meme going around? We're going to get to the bottom of it all in this video. I've done the research, dumbed it down, so you don't need to. First, we have to start with money. What is money? Well, humans have always and will always trade or transact with each other, which means we need some form of value to help us do that, like dollar bills, for example. See, thousands of years ago, we didn't have money printers, so we found something on Earth that was already rare, like gold, and used that to transact with each other. Gold coins were cool and all, but carrying a bunch of them around gets very heavy very quick. So countries started printing paper currency, but only if there was enough gold to back its value. So this meant that if you had 10 paper bills, you could redeem them for 10 gold coins at any time. This made transacting way easier and lighter on the pocket. But as time went on, economics evolved and more money needed to be printed. And as the money printers were going burr, they started outpacing the amount of gold each country had. Fast forward to today, and there are zero countries in the world which back their currency by gold or anything at all. You're probably worried and wondering, if the money in my bank is not backed by anything, why do we value it? Because of one simple word, trust. We have to trust that our governments will not print too much or too little and mess with our buying power. Kind of scary, isn't it? Well, Olympus Dow wants to alleviate this fear and make a reserve currency and put it on the blockchain to be controlled by the public. This is a very ambitious goal, which aims to make Ohm a digital currency of the future and ensure that it's always backed by a basket of crypto assets. So what's with the crazy high staking returns they offer? How are these even sustainable? Can I really make this much money by staking Ohm? Are people making that much money? Here's how it works. Check this out. Before we get into some awesome content, let's talk about the official sponsor of DeFi Donut, Pool Together, which allows me to give you guys free and frequent videos. Imagine having $73 in your bank account just to wake up one day to a balance of $43,760 because that actually happened to a Pool Together user a few months ago. See, Pool Together is one of those DeFi apps that seems too good to be true. It is a no loss crypto lottery, which just means instead of your money buying tickets, it is pooled together with other people's funds to earn interest in the DeFi world. That interest earned every week is combined and distributed to a few lucky winners. You can withdraw your funds at any time, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. So head over to PoolTogether.com and literally get paid to save money. Good luck, guys. So yes, the staking APY is real, and every single OM token that you earn as a staker comes from the treasury profits. The Olympus treasury is where all the magic happens. It has two doors, an entrance door for incoming profits and an exit door for the same profits to go to stakers as a reward. Okay, but how does the treasury earn a profit? I'm glad you asked. And it's actually simple, by selling bonds. So imagine the current market price of Ohm is $1,000. The treasury is offering you a discount and will sell you Ohm at $960 if you buy it with your ETH. The catch is you will get your total amount of Ohm dripped to you day by day for the next seven days. And if the price remains about the same, in a week you would have gotten your Ohm at a 4% discount. So boom, just like that, the treasury got your ETH upfront while promising you a discount over the next week as they slowly give you your own. In the meantime, that ETH raises the value of the treasury, which allows it to mint new OM tokens because now there is money to justify it. And these newly minted tokens are distributed as rewards to stakers. So in a few words, the huge staking rewards actually come from profits which are gained by people wanting to buy OM at a discount, aka bonds. Now, will people forever want to buy the OM token at a discount? That remains to be seen. I'm sure it's no surprise to you that about 90% of all the Ohm supply is currently staked and has been staked since its creation. I mean, with so much free money, why wouldn't you stake, right? Well, this is the point, which leads me to explain the 3 comma 3 meme that you see all over Twitter from the Ohm community. It comes from this little thing called game theory, and here's the best explanation that will show you what the mysterious 3 comma 3 means. Welcome to the prisoner's dilemma. Let's say Bob and Emily are accused of a crime and are being held in two separate rooms at the police station. Here's the deal. If one rats on the other and the other remains quiet, then the rat will go free, while the other one who stayed quiet will get three years of jail time. If both of them stay quiet, then they each only get one year of jail time. And the kicker is, if they both rat on each other, they will both get two years of jail time. 
So obviously, the option that is best for both of them would be if Bob and Emily both stayed quiet. The prisoner's dilemma kind of applies to the Ohm protocol as well. Check this out. If everybody or the majority of people agree to buy Ohm and stake it, the price of Ohm should keep increasing. If everybody or the majority either stake and or bond, that's still a net positive for everyone and the price of Ohm should increase. And if the majority unstakes and starts selling, that would be a net negative for the users and the protocol. So as the diagram shows, the 3,3 3 scenario is the ideal situation for all Ohm holders and the treasury. Buy, stake, repeat. And that is why the 3,3 3 meme started. It's a simple game theory psychology experiment. One last question I'm sure everybody watching this video who was interested in staking probably has. What happens in a bank run scenario? A bank run in the real world means if every customer of a bank rushes to pull their money out at the same time and the bank doesn't have enough funds to accommodate, which they never really do. So what happens if everybody unstakes their own and starts to sell it off or dump it to the market? Well, as people leave the staking pool, the APY or the returns will start increasing drastically. So as more people unstake, it becomes more and more appealing to restake or for new people to come in and stake because the returns would really start ramping up. And even with hordes of people unstaking and selling their ohm, the amount of ohm one can earn by staying in the pool could possibly not affect them in the long run. Why? Because their ohm returns would be that high. The less people in the pool, the more rewards to go around. Olympus has created a very interesting incentive experiment here. So I'm sure viewers may call this sort of a Ponzi, which I understand. Is it a great area token experiment? Maybe. Is it an overly ambitious project? Maybe. Is it an interesting concept of human psychology and reserve currencies? Most definitely. And that's why I love DeFi. It's just pushing the boundaries of what's possible in finance at light speed innovation.